hey guys it's angel here i pray you all are having a blessed day guys i have a video for you so i um watched this video a few days back and i really wanted to share this with you guys because they were dropping a lot of gems it's a lot of information that we all need to know so i just had to share this with you guys for those who have never experienced um witchcraft knowing somebody in witchcraft having a family member doing witchcraft um this might seem unbelievable but please believe me when i say these things do take place and witchcraft is very real okay um it's very real very real if i not if i tell you i will start to tell you guys a lot of the experiences that i have went through and it's still unbelievable to this day that these things happen but they do so anyway um i don't want to talk too much guys I, I want you guys to check this out okay um this is a young lady here that was a ex-witch she got into witchcraft like around the age of like 14 or 15 or something like that you'll see but um she was letting us know um, some things that is very important to know. So just stay tuned. Subsequently, getting involved in 13 blood sacrifices uh, <laughs> and the like. My goodness. I know mm. you're chuckling about it now, but at that time yeah. it was very <laughs> yeah. serious. Because yes. you were actually involved in this, in this cult mm -hmm. in attacking Christians, weren't you? Yes. Um, so... We so I was a channeler. Um, I talked to the demons, and we re they relayed messages to the rest of the cult through me. You see, guys, all they need is a vessel. All they need is a vessel. Same thing in the you know Christian community. All they need is a vessel to infiltrate, you know, the kingdom of heaven. All they need is a vessel to infiltrate the body of Christ. As long as they have a vessel, their job can be done. They could spread messages, false information, and communicate. You know, a lot of times we're watching these prophetic videos and, you know, we have to be very careful of who we are watching because who are these people getting information from, okay? So it's very, very important that your discernment is strong. Um, but later on, um, I was 16 when... Uh, I'm just gonna say it uh i met satan himself mm -hmm. uh, which really obviously is shocking um <laughs> and his priority for us it changed the trajectory of the cult and we started attacking just christians going after clergy specifically um we had names addresses workplaces um and that's what we did we just harassed Christians. Mm. So and that's going on now, isn't it? I mean, that's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There are assignments on uh, people yes. who are actively engaged in uh, in worshiping and ministering. Guys, I promise you this is a real thing. It's hard to believe, but it's a real thing. When I first started doing what I'm doing now on YouTube, when I was called to start putting out prophetic uh, videos and really go into um interceding for my family and stuff guys the type of dreams i was having i've never experienced before i've always been prophetic it was a whole nother level of warfare whole nother like veil that i i penetrated i just can't even explain it i never experienced it before so when i hear people talk about you know what they go through and the attacks that they experience and um you know the the monitoring spirits that harass them i know exactly what they're talking about and it happens to the true children of god guys that's on here that really like really 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 are called i'm telling you if <laughs> it, it comes with the territory and it's a real thing there are people that target children of god just because of what they do for the kingdom of heaven and i had no clue this was real i wouldn't have believed it it's a real thing guys they these people are searching out addresses and everything it's sick it's real it's real the spiritual realm is real and you know but god is our protector so it didn't scare me because god's comfort you know 
and and promise rolled out all of those fears you know because i knew god was truly carrying me through this call as he still is so i'm not threatened and you know if anything should happen it's because god allowed it and it's my time but i really believe i know wholeheartedly that god is protecting me but guys this thing is real this thing is real yes the enemy is out the enemy is out for the children of god we do not belong on this earth we are set apart this earth belongs to the kingdom of darkness guys it's real and worshiping and ministering uh, mm -hmm. including now yourself. So we pray, we plead the blood of Jesus yes. Christ over you. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> that the Lord has victory because you realized uh, as this was going on that there were certain Christians or certain people mm -hmm. that would not be at the effect of of these, uh, these prayer or these chants or these, uh, right. you know, these practices. Yep. So uh, I would actually travel in the spirit, astral projection, to um, influence, I don't know, lust or something on a Christian. Guys, y'all hear that? So while you are praying, they cannot touch you. That's nice to know when you're praying, it's nothing they could do. That makes you just want to, you know, say a silent prayer all day long, right? Just talk to God all day. But, um... Guys, astral projection is real. I heard about it. I knew people that were actually doing it. Um, myself, I've never done it. It was something I was interested in doing, but I believe the Lord would not let me go too, too deep um, for a reason. I thank him for that. He allowed me to touch the surface, to experience it, and to see things, but I never quite got that deep. But let me tell you, when I was still in the world, there was somebody. Now, this at this particular time, the Lord was tugging on me. And I, I didn't really want any parts with the world anymore. But I was still holding on. So there was a guy who was heavily into divination. I'm sure you guys, if you're on Instagram, I'm not anymore, really. I do have a page, but I'm never on it. Um, but my old page was very active um, when I was in music, but I was secular. Um, there's a guy who is in that new age world and he's very, very popular over a hundred thousand followers, like just very big on Instagram. And we were going to do a song together, right? This person is super heavy into divination. Something was telling me, something was telling me, leave this guy alone, leave him alone leave him alone and i know it was holy spirit so i was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about jesus to him i want to see if i can win a soul you know because i was one foot in and one foot out but really th those spirits on him would have tore me up because i was i was one foot in and one foot out i wasn't you know fully sold out so they would have tore me up. Now that I am educated on how the spiritual realm works, I know that. At the time, I didn't know that. So I would have just got beat up and, and I, I wouldn't have known what hit me. So anyway, um, that's not always the case, guys. I'm, I'm mainly talking about the warfare. Like always, always try to win souls. But you can't, you have to really be about that life, okay? You cannot be lukewarm if you're going to go hard for Christ because the warfare is too strong, okay? And if you have all these open doors to the devil, they're just, they're going to tear you up. That's what I mean. I'm not saying don't speak up and, and, and speak the good news, guys. I'm saying you better have those doors closed or, you know, at least have a repentant life. <laughs> But so let me get to my point, guys. I know you guys want to see this video. As far as astro projecting, guys, this guy that I'm telling you guys about, I'm protected and sealed with the blood in Jesus' mighty name. So this guy, we were supposed to meet up, okay? We were supposed to meet up. I sent him the song. He loved it. He wrote his verse. We were supposed to meet up, right? And... One day I was in my kitchen, guys, when I say I felt someone was in there with me and my spirit knew it was Holy Spirit giving me that download. It was this guy. I knew it. I just, I just knew it, knew it, knew it. I knew this guy astro projected himself in my place. And I spoke to him straight up. I said, if you don't get your butt out of my place, I know who you are. If you don't get out of here right now 
And I know he was shooketh. <laughs> I know he was just like, how did she know? So after the situation happened, he left instantly, right? And this is how I know for sure it was him. Holy Spirit told me for one, I knew it in my spirit, but I, it was further confirmed because I was like, you know what? Let me just reach out. A couple of days later, I said, let me reach out and, and try to act like I don't know what happened and just see, you know what I mean? Let me just see if his conscience would keep him away, which would be the giveaway or if, you know, maybe, maybe I'm tripping. So I reached out like, hey, we're still doing a song. Nothing. Hey, hey, did you get my text? Nothing, guys. And it was confirmation. I just didn't even want to believe it. I said, oh, my God, this man astro projected himself in my place. And I knew it. Thank God. Holy, Holy Spirit. Not just my spirit. Guys, after that, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I think it was one other thing. And I was fully, fully sold out for the Lord. I said, nope, I'm done. Um, never did the song. I actually was done. I, I, I believe I took down my Instagram a little bit after that and everything. That's when I was really like, you know, so done. Um, <clears throat> that experience showed me just how wicked this world really is how deep and how spiritual this world is and how i am not going to make it and cannot make it without the lord and i was done being lukewarm but anyway guys i'm so sorry i know you want to see this video i just wanted to share that with you guys um astro projection is real guys these witches out here trying to astro project themselves into your home and you know plant things take things and see what's going on it's a real thing, guys. So always pray and cover your home, cover your kids. All right. And guys, please know my intention is not to cause fear. Okay. That is never my intention. We're children of God. We shouldn't be fearful anyway. Um, my sole reason for telling you guys my experiences is so that you will learn from them. And so you will know what is real out there. Okay. And uh, in the spirit, I would see like a dome like a blue dome over uh groups of christians that were praying or uh, just through the all those experiences i connected that we could not attack christians as they were actively praying protection from god like there was a no-go zone just no absolutely no power so <laughs> that's I love it now. Like, like, yes. <laughs> Thank you, God. Um, but back. And so at that point, that made me curious. How is this possible? How can Christians have this power to just nullify the demonics completely? My younger brother was saved. I didn't know this at the time. And the demons wanted me to attack him. I was like, no, that's my family. That's off limits. Um, so, uh, they knew I was having doubts about everything and they were trying to get in where they could attack my family, um, put doubts in my head, that kind of thing. And guys, that's amazing that she's conscious at that point to be so heavily into witchcraft and still have a conscious and still want to look out for your family um that's actually a sign that god had his hand on her still and he had a plan because most families um they're used by the enemy once the enemy starts to spread lies and whisper in their ears and make them believe that their family member who you know is following christ and minding their business is out to get them and wants to take things from them and is putting curses on them I'm telling you, the enemy will start to whisper lies into, you know, your relative's ears once you start to go hard for Christ. I'm telling you, they they get dirty. I'm telling you, that's how they get, you know, um, a lot of you all's relatives to do witchcraft on you and attack you because they start to spread lies and whisper lies in their ears about you and give them false dreams and all types of things and make them feel like you're attacking them 
because in the midst of your warfare prayers and stuff like that because you are the intercessor for your family um in the midst of your warfare prayers your family's going to start to feel the attacks and the enemy's going to start to you know attack you and feed your your family members lies about you and make them think that you're doing something to them when really you're fighting for them um and uh, i experienced this guys um you know my mom i don't really talk about it but um I will just say that I went through it um, with my mother. Um, for those who have been following me from like day one, you guys might know about the time when the altars in my family bloodline was revealed to me by a dream. And I started to go into warfare prayer, try to tear down the altars. And I was getting attacked so heavily, it's not even funny. When I say mice started to appear in my apartment out of the blue, cats were chasing me. When I say the most wicked things were starting to happen when I was coming against against these altars, guys, it's real. Like, man, when I gave my life to Christ and I started to try to, you know, get us on the right path, I just thought, oh, I'm going to pray for the family. And no, I had no idea what was going on behind the scenes, okay? I didn't know there were altars and stuff. And um, I didn't know I was coming up against covenants. And, and, and the devil wasn't happy, okay? And, yeah, I was getting attacked. And um, my mom, when I told her, um, she wasn't too happy about what I was doing. And I'm going to leave it at that. And um, I'll just say the spiritual realm is real. She allowed them to whisper lies in her ear, and I'm still waiting for God to restore my family because what happened was it caused a divide. When I started to go into prayer, it caused division and exposure, and I started to learn things. And I'm just going to say the enemy don't like to be exposed, so I haven't heard from some family members in a while, and I'll leave it at that. But um, I wanted the truth. I started reading the Bible. And uh, I actually asked Satan at one point <laughs> uh, if Jesus was real. Because I believed in Father God, but not Jesus. I believed in Father God, but not Jesus. How many times did we join our hands with somebody, bow our heads, and come into agreement with somebody praying? because they started their prayer off with father god somebody starts their prayer off with father god we're thinking they're talking about the same god that we you know serve but it's not always the case and uh he got very angry <laughs> and he told me yes he was which flabbergasted me like why would he say that and mm -hmm. um then he mocked me <laughs> mm -hmm. and told me I didn't even know who my enemy was. <laughs> mm. uh, so I was like, okay, something's not adding up. I need to figure out what the truth is. Um, wow. And at that point, um, the demons attacked me and tried to forcefully possess me. And there was a, you know, a fight that went on. And at the end of that, uh, I called out to Jesus to save me, to uh, get rid of all the demons. And he did, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, which was incredible. I was like, why would he do that for me? Like, I don't even know who he is. Such a beautiful testimony, such an informative video. Guys, I pray you all enjoyed that video. I'm gonna try to find the entire video and link it um if not i will make sure i have the details of who this video belongs to so you guys can go check it out on your own but yeah guys i just wanted to share that with you all i'm going to start sharing um a lot more videos like this because there's a lot of information out there that we need to know as christians our people uh, perish because of a lack of knowledge i believe that god is calling us to rise up in a different way than before god is calling us to be warriors and use our authority we need to we need to um know what's out there you know so anyway guys love y'all god loves you so much more and until next time